Working in natural and diffused light under a canopy of trees, shapes begin to appear on canvas and paper. What I didn't tell her is in an earlier life I was a draftsman. Creating a piece of art is more often than not a solitary pastime. But to the 20 men and women of the Pan Group, art is a social affair. We were all going to the art gallery on Mondays and painting life drawing. And then we go for coffee and we bonded. And then when that stopped for the summer, we had Mondays blocked off anyway, so we wanted to continue. So we said, okay, let's do plein air, which is radically different than sketching models. En plein air is a French expression, which means in the open air. It is used to describe the act of painting outdoors. Some do oils. Stephen down there is an oil painter. Some do acrylics. Wilf just does pencil sketches, beautiful pencil sketches, and quite a few are watercolorists. Um, and we've mixed and matched. I mean, I was doing acrylics until I just got really tired of, eh, what do I do with them? They just go in the closet, so a pad is easier than stashing a canvas. From 10 till noon every Monday throughout the summer, Planai Nanaimo members will gather at a picturesque setting somewhere in the Central Island area. Well, initially, when we first started doing this, which was maybe about three or four years ago, we just went to our gardens and painted in our, in our own gardens. And then we decided we needed to have something a bit more official, so somehow I got the unofficial election title of the, you know, chief cat herder. So I started drawing up a schedule. Oh, it makes a big difference, particularly if you don't work anymore. You know, <coughs> uh, it's, it's really, uh, I look forward to the Mondays, yeah. And then after, we go out for coffee usually, and we compare all the results and <coughs> a bit of looking back and forth, and you learn from that. It's really meaningful because as an artist, you're kind of cloistered away doing your work, whether you're out in the field painting outdoors yourself or whether you're in your studio. And so there's not a lot of social time. It's really nice to be... Um, not only painting with a group, but we also share our information after and um, look at our pictures, kind of a show and tell, and everybody makes comments, and usually they're positive, so it's always a feel good. Pan has also become another way for Patricia and Trevor to spend more quality time together. It was something my wife was doing, and we tend to do everything together. She wanted to go down to Monterey, California, to a plein air symposium, which is, you know, painting outside. And, and she asked me to go with her, and so I said, sure. And she said, well, you have to learn how to paint. <laughs> so so I, um, uh, she plunked an apple down in front of me. This is a couple months ago, and, uh, and said, paint this. So that was my, my first painting. This was my second painting, which is a boat because I love boats. It's just out of my head. I, I love it. I didn't realize, I'm a real techie. And I didn't realize how relaxing painting could be. And, uh, and, and I love it. I could, you know, I could do it full time. It's just a very, very nice group to be with. Very nice personalities. And there's a number that are professional artists that, you know, they sell their work, unlike me. <laughs> Plan I and Nanaimo will wrap up their summer painting schedule with a far off excursion to Cowichan Bay at the end of August before returning to the limits of an indoor studio in the fall. In Nanaimo, I'm Annette Lucas.